I did find it interesting to hear him trying to downplay draw what Gerard is finding hard to deal with compared to what he had to deal with. You know, he's he's like, Oh, Gerard had both of his parents, you know, okay, yeah, his father his father slept around. You know, I was actually in a foster care system. I, I don't know my father to this day. So stuff like that. So it was kinda deep to see, you know, how we all handle things and how we could look at what other thing what other people are struggling with as as child's play. <laughs> What's going on folks another episode of ryan reviews everything and we're talking about the latest episode of the gerard carmichael show uh this one is titled well jamar carmichael reality show let's get it right um this one is titled uh jamar and it mainly this whole episode is about jamar neighbors um if you're not familiar with him uh he is normally pretty funny i know there were some parts in this uh in this uh episode where he was bombing and it definitely made for some awkward moments some awkward silence and so forth and you know let me just take a step back uh, my only uh knowledge of jamar neighbors um prior to this episode has been watching him on um um uh, what's it called roast battle roast battle uh that i think is created by jeff ross he's been hilarious on roast battle he's appeared a few times on all deaf digital um roast me so when I think about it, I can't see, I've, this is my first time actually seeing his stand-up material. I've mainly just seen him roast, and he has been quite the formidable opponent for a lot of people when it comes to just roasting. And also he's had like some, some you know, minor roles here and there uh, within, you know, movies or, or shows. But, so that's my knowledge of Jamar Neighbors. But I enjoyed this episode. I, I like that we get to discover the friendship between Jamar and, and Carmich Gerard Carmichael in this episode. And it's mainly they, they just, just, you know, cross paths just within, I guess, the comedy circuit or whatnot. And, you know, and I did feel like that despite the friend episode of Carmichael not being the best, um, having the best friend qualities, uh, I thought this episode kind of had some redemption factors, you know, just in the sense that, Jamar apparently gave Gerard some advice early on in his career about, hey, you know, you're funny, just slow down a little bit. And I guess Gerard took that advice and he's been successful from listening to that advice. And this episode was really, looks like it was, it was mainly him just trying to pay it forward. You know, just, give, just paying it back to, um, not even paying it forward, paying it back to, to Jamar neighbors. And I like some of the advice that that Gerard was trying to, you know, give back to Jamar in terms of his stand-up. Granted, this is coming from somebody who has no stand-up expertise at all, but I, I am a stand-up comedy fan, like I'm sure many of you are. And I did like the advice of, you know, sometimes your comedy has to come, has to come from a real place. It has to be kind of personal. And when I think about some of my favorite comedians, most of their material has came from some type of personal experience um you know dave chappelle bill burr kevin hart hell even go back to like you know eddie murphy and the richard pryor it all came from personal experience i know richard pryor had plenty of bits where he was talking about his struggles with drug abuse and he turned it into comedy gold on 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 that stage so stuff like that so we, def we definitely see throughout this episode that jamar is kind of hesitant to get too personal just for obvious reasons, you know, he uh, doesn't want to offend some of his family members. Apparently, he had to go through the foster system until his biological mom was was in a better place to take care of Jamar and his sister and so forth. So, you know, it can be a lot there, especially it seems like Jamar was kind of torn between, yeah, I really could get personal and, and make some funny stories about my family, but I know my family doesn't really wouldn't appreciate that. So it's kind of like this fine line it seems like he was walking throughout the entire episode um he definitely got personal when it came to himself and one of his stand-up sessions actually kind of turned into a therapy session with audience members um and of course we see he tries that again with another show and then that was kind of a, a bomb session in a sense so yeah actually that was, you know this episode was pretty straightforward um not too much to really dive into um 
I do find it encouraging to see, you know, a black man encouraging another black man to to engage in, in therapy just to further see what's going on with them. So that was encouraging to see. Um, and just overall, just some type of redeeming quality of Gerard Carmichael in terms of how he treats friends. And this was good to see. Um, yeah, man, this is going to be straightforward to the point. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought about this episode. Um, I think that was the bulk of it, really. It was all circling around Jamar um, and some of his highs and lows throughout his comedy. Um, and once again, I guess my final thought with that is I, I do understand where he's coming from, where he says instead of him getting out personal stories, it sounds like he would just rather come up with funny ideas or just funny thing other funny things to talk about on stage so who knows maybe getting into your personal story isn't for everybody um even with him getting into a little bit of some personal stuff some of it was kind of hit and miss throughout this episode when he showed some of the the, the stand-up bits um and it was definitely cool uh to see um jamar's mom when the credits rolled up and things like that so it seems like things are going up in terms of family and, and, and how he, you know, how he feels about how he copes with his past. Um, dang, you know what? I'm lying. There was one other part I thought was pretty good. Um, back to the therapy session that Jamar Neighbors is having. He definitely, I know it's, there's no such thing as the, the quote unquote trauma Olympics, but you know, I did find it interesting to hear him trying to downplay what Gerard is finding hard to deal with compared to what he had to deal with you know he's he's like oh Gerard had both of his parents you know okay yeah his father his father slept around you know I was actually in a foster care system I, I don't know my father to this day so stuff like that so it was kind of deep to see you know how we all handle things and how we could look at what other thing what other people are struggling with as as child's play but once again it's all in the perspective and, and how you feel and you know just on a personal i know a good number of people who grew up without a father um and also had no desire to finding out who their father was i think that was kind of how jamar felt as well i know he asked his mom about it but once the mom said you don't want to know it's, it didn't seem like he was trying to further pursue it and at some point it seemed like Gerard was more more interested in Jamar finding out who his father than it is than Jamar was. So it's to each his own, man. Um, I thought this was a dope episode and probably the best light that Gerard Carmichael has, has been in uh, with, you know, with compared to all the other previous episodes. So love it or hate it. Let me know what you think. That's my opinion. Peace.